Setting up a YouTube channel correctly to attract and retain viewers can be a tricky thing to do. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that, and it's coming up right now. Hey there, Mark Warnkin here, your social media for business expert. And if this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping you to grow your business or brand using social media, LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a whole lot more. So hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with everything social media. I release videos like this every week and you definitely don't want to be missing out on them. Video is one of the most effective ways to help grow your business or brand these days. So setting up a YouTube channel and uploading videos just like this one, I believe, is essential for every business owner, brand, company, salesperson, or anyone wanting to do anything online these days. But doing exactly that can be a tricky exercise for a lot of people. So just clicking a few buttons and uploading some random videos is not the way to go because YouTube actually wants your channel to be a success because authority channels attract and retain viewers on YouTube's platform. And that's what it's all about. They wanna take the eyeballs off television and Facebook and the newspapers and magazines and have them on YouTube's platform. So in this video, we're gonna explore how to correctly set up a YouTube channel, specially targeted for beginners, people who haven't necessarily done that previously. Equally, it's gonna also help um, people who do have an existing YouTube channel that you might get some tips and information out of that as well. So let's go to some live screen action where you'll be able to follow my mouse as we go through it step by step on how to correctly set up a YouTube channel that's gonna help position you, your business and brand as someone with skills and knowledge and expertise in your industry. So here we are with a screenshot of my YouTube channel and this will be the end result of where we want to get to. So we're gonna go through step by step and work out all of these particular components that you want to correctly set up and optimize and, and piece together setting up your own YouTube channel. So the first one is you want to decide on the channel name. I've gone with a description of my own personal name and my business name, Mark Warren can social media selling one, two, three. So for most people, it will be their business name or their brand name, their own personal name or a combination of all of that. You then want to decide on the channel art. See around the yellow box here, that's your channel art. It's the equivalent to the LinkedIn banner image or Facebook cover image, that type of thing. So you're wanting to make it pop because it's a very visual part of your channel. We then have over here your profile image. I've gone out with a picture of myself, but for most people it will probably be their business brand um, or logo, that type of thing. Um, over here, you then want to see if you can activate this section here, free downloads or free fast start templates. And then I've got my icons over here for Facebook, Google, well, Google's been deleted now, <laughs> Facebook and LinkedIn and um, Instagram and Twitter and a whole lot more. So you're really wanting to bring your channel to life by fully setting it up fully optimizing it and once you start uploading videos you then get the opportunity for um, uploading a featured video for returning subscribers or even for new subscribers you then get to upload what's called a channel trailer video as well so these are all the components that you would want to get to setting up your YouTube channel so and Google and YouTube want you to have a good looking channel because channels that are set up and optimized in all the right areas generate more traffic and, and, and more eyeballs and, and, and Google and YouTube will actually help promote your YouTube channel a little bit more if you just go through these very simple steps. Um, now behind the scenes there is actually a few components as well. This is the description area and we're going to be going and showing you how to do that in less than a minute. Down the bottom here again this is where you activate all of those links to Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, and any free giveaways that you have as well. So, but step one, before you even get to that step of setting up your channel, you need to um, make sure you have a Gmail account. You need to be able to log into your Gmail account. And then from that, you then go through the steps of setting up your YouTube channel. Google own YouTube. So that actually makes you have a Gmail account. Now for most people, they probably do, but if you don't, you will need to open a Gmail account. And then you will come to this screen. So up the top right, you'll click on um, the nine little dots there within the box. And then you will click on YouTube. This is the actual steps and you'll be able to rewind and follow this video step by step. 
you'll then come to this particular page and then you'll click on my channel over here on the left hand side and then it's going to ask you okay <clears throat> now what do you want to name what do you want to name your channel it's asking do you want to name it now I logged in as Mark Warnkin it's asking me into my Gmail that is do I want to name my channel my own name or do I want to click down the bottom here and then I can update it and change it to a business name or a brand name relatively simple it does get a little bit confusing along the way one of the little confusing components is they ask you to create a brand account but you just click through those little steps and then you're pretty much all done eventually you will end up on this particular page where you are halfway down the track to setting up your YouTube channel so I've named this demonstration YouTube channel how to set up a YouTube channel so I've been very creative but this is where you will decide whether it's your own business name your own brand or a combination of what I've done on my channel Mark Warren can social media selling one two three so whatever best suits you your business or brand I've already uploaded a logo pretty straightforward there you click on that now the channel art can be a little bit tricky so click on the box to add your channel art that step is straightforward but sometimes sizing it correctly can be a little bit tricky I've actually used Canva to actually customize a sign Canva is a design website it's fantastic um, but I'm going to upload my channel image and um, it all looks good there and I'm going to press select and it should now update the channel art area here for me so um, now the channel art size is YouTube will tell you you want to make it pixels 2560 times 1440 which is correct and that allows you to to be seen across all of the platforms but the safe zone this is the sizing that I found works best 1446 pixels times 423 so you're wanting to get your channel art size correctly it can be a little bit fiddly um, but once you've get it, got it done it's all set up and correct and you, you you do want to spend a little bit of time on that because first impressions really count and you're wanting to make someone who lands on your channel them to be um, impressed straight away with what you've done and the image is sized correctly etc so we've done that we've got the channel name we've got your profile image we've got your channel art all set up I want you to go to now to this gear icon over here and we are going to customize the layout of your channel and then it's going to bring up all of these particular tabs and they these tabs are now activated down here pretty straightforward isn't it so what we now want to go to is your home page we now want to go to the about uh, sorry home we've got homes we've got no videos playlist channels about section we actually want to go to the about section and start letting Google and YouTube and the business community around the world or anyone interested in YouTube around the world we are wanting to start letting them know what our particular channel is all about and those links remember on my Facebook uh, my YouTube channel over here I've got these clickable links to my Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn profile this is how we're going to do that on this particular channel as well so channel description what do we want well I've actually got a little bit of information pre-populated here so I'm going to copy that and I am going to put it into the channel description here so you're wanting to add I found the, the first line is you're wanting to add your um, your business or brand name because that's what people will see um, you know when you're liking and commenting and, and the first line of your description area you're wanting to make it um, a reinforcing of who um, you, you know your business or your brand things like that the second line is you're wanting to add your website um, or, 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 or if you're sending people to a download page or a clickable link that type of thing again make that your second line here of your the about section and further down this is where you get to add some details about who you are what you do why you do it and how you help you get to just as you would have on your website or your Facebook page your LinkedIn profile or any of your social media platforms you're telling everyone a little bit about what your channel is all about now once you have gone and correctly set up your YouTube channel you will end up getting a URL well, we've already got one here at the top already so here's the URL so what I do is I copy and paste that URL into the description because I'm then already giving my own channel a backlink to my channel it's a little technicality it's a little way that um, 
you know, helps with search engine SEO rankings, that type of thing. But once you've set up and you do have your URL, add it to the bottom there saying, hey, um, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just in case someone hasn't subscribed and they're scrolling through your about section. Equally, you're wanting to add playlists. Once you start populating your, your channel with videos and the like, start adding the playlist URLs to the description area as well. Um, what else did I have? Ah, now, now we come to this these clickable links down the bottom. So the clickable links down the bottom of the page, oh, sorry, before we get to that, you can add your email address, you add your location. I'm gonna add for Australia where I am. I won't put in a, a, an email address because there's no need to actually do that for this demonstration. No, so this is how we add the clickable links. So the first one I'm going to add is, what did I have it over here as subscribe now? So this is a landing page that I send people to to download one of my free um, giveaways that I have. So I'm gonna put subscribe subscribe now and that will become a clickable link on if I can spell properly that will then become a clickable link on my YouTube channel art um, and I'll show exa everyone exactly how we do that as well and I'm going to add some more links here as well so I think people get the idea of what I'm actually trying to do the next one I will add would be to my Facebook business page so the reason I'm doing this I'm giving every opportunity for someone to stay along my or you know on my brands and and if they then want to go and see me on facebook or linkedin or, or youtube that type of thing it'll be relatively easy for them to actually do all that i'm making it easy for them to click on and and, and stay amongst you know all of my own um, personal branding and social media sites so you actually get then five little links here that you can populate. So I've gone and populated all of them. The first one I've put is subscribe now, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. Um, we've done our description up the top. We are pretty much now all done. I'm gonna click done and I'm gonna click done here. And if we're gonna go back to now and view our channel, there we go. We are all set up and ready to go. You have your business logo. You have your channel art correctly sized for YouTube and it's an eye-catching image. We have our clickable links over here on the side. So if now someone clicks on that Facebook link or Instagram, um, LinkedIn, Twitter, it will take them to my other social media um, pages as well. Um, so that's pretty much how to correctly set up your YouTube channel for success. So Google and YouTube love you. Spend a little bit of time doing this. So many people just um, skip over this particular part. Now, if you're a very popular person and you've got you know, thousands of followings or millions of people following you, you can, in a lot of cases, get by without doing all this and your videos will then start you know, being seen and watched and your channel will just skyrocket. But for, for the vast majority, the vast, the 95% of business owners and brands you want to spend time correctly setting up your youtube channel just as you did your website just as you do, would do your facebook page your instagram page your linkedin profile all of that but once you've done all that your youtube channel is set up and optimized correctly um, use mine as a bit of a guide while you're having a look at mine don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well but you'll be able to scroll through mine and use it, at, use it as a bit of a guide. You then move on to the next phase of uploading lots and lots of YouTube videos to help promote you, your business or brand. So there you go. You now have a step-by-step -step guide on how to correctly set up a YouTube channel, something that you can be proud on, but equally something that's gonna help grow your business and your brand. What I'd like you to do now is go to the comment section below. Let me know where you're tuning in from around the world. Let me know some of the struggles. Let me know some of the success stories that you're actually having on the amazing platform that YouTube is as well. While you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below because I'm uploading videos just like this one, generally every Wednesday, sometimes even on the weekend as well. Mark Warnkin, Social Media Selling 123 signing off. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon in another one of my videos.